Oh, that's interesting. So it says May's theme is, you've seen the title and the thumbnail. This is the Witch Casket box for May. I can't wait to get into it. So let's get it started. Let's roll the intro. I just want to get into this box. Hi, I'm Lisa, a practicing liminal witch and tarot reader with over 28 years experience in helping people find guidance through the cards. On this channel, I talk about all sorts of witchy, spooky and mystical things that interest me and I hope will interest you too. Welcome to Beyond Authentic Witchcraft. So this video is not sponsored, um, so much so that I can't even remember how much I pay. I think it's £29 in the UK, including postage and packing. I think it's 34 the rest of the uh, in Europe and 36 the rest of the world. I can't remember. I'll put the prices on screen. They should be on screen now. Um, but it is a monthly subscription service. Now, things I really like about this box, okay? All of the packaging is biodegradable and recyclable. So including these plastic mailers, they are 100% biodegradable. Um, and then the boxes always come like this. This is the standard sort of witch casket box, which I think is like, it's a really nice, beautiful box, but I do have several of them. Like there's at least eight in this room right now. So, you know, um, but they are recyclable. So as I always do with these videos, I'm just going to pop the box down and I'm not going to look at what's in it until we get, until I get the items out of the box. You know what I'm trying to say. So this is the little pamphlet. We always get a little leaflet. Uh, it's, oh, that's interesting. So it says May's theme is herbology. That's really interesting. Hmm, a good time for it as well because it's spring. A lot of us are looking at planting seeds in our gardens. We've been getting some smaller little like plants. Um, so some small tomato plants, cucumber plants, things like that, that are already sort of a few weeks or a few months on to start getting like the first crop. And then we're sowing a load of seeds at the moment for the second crop with like veggies and salad items. So this is a really good time. Um, we've got some lovely bottles here. And then this just says, I'm going to have to put my glasses on because, you know, I am... I am that age now. So it says, here is your May witch casket and this month is all about herbology. We love working with herbs and using the blessings of mother nature in our craft. And we hope this casket and its contents will encourage you to embrace this tradition. Please read through the pamphlet. Also, please be sure to tag any social media posts, which we do, um, sending all our love and positive energy to you all. Until next time, be well, Deb and Ella. And then throughout the booklet, it tells you a lot more about the products. So like most months, I'm going to look at the pamphlet at the end and just confirm that we've got everything and tell you which items are which casket exclusives. So then normally we do get an art print. Um, yes, we do. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, look at the Look at the coffee cups piled up here. It's a bit a bit like someone knows me. Um, this looks really cool, actually. This is like a working altar space. Oh, I really like that. I really like that a lot, actually. And I like the fact that in the cabinet there are cobwebs. If you look at the cabinet, where is it? Just here behind me. If you look closely, you will see cobwebs. So if you're watching this on a, a great big, like, 60-inch 4D TV and all of that, you can probably see them. But, yeah, anyway, I like that. That's a nice piece of artwork. I do like their artwork. Um, I do have bits of it sort of um, all around this room. So, yeah, I do really like those. Uh, next up, we've got, oh, what's this? Which is Apothecary Labels. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to pull this out with something. But let's have a little look. Oh, I don't want to rip anything oh they're nice oh they're like oh oh look yeah they're nice they're like little stickers little labels for bottles and things to make it all look pretty we've got some black and white ones and we've got some some other ones they're nice i like those yep that's a useful a useful thing because we all like witch core don't we it's not just a, a thing that we do we like to decorate our places with it or at least some of us do um what else have we got in here there's a a, a book or something Oh, yes. The Little Book of Herbal Magic by Deb Robinson. That looks quite funky. Um, oh, yeah. Look, this is actually really cool. As always, I'm not going to show you too much from what's inside. But if I show you, um, let me see. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll show you the one at the back. So that's what this looks like. And it just says protection salts. You will need salt, basil, marjoram and nettle. And then it tells you what to do and what to say. So, yeah, I like that. And this is it's a really nice book, actually. This feels a lot more a lot more robust than some of their, their sort of pamphlet books. Um, this feels really nice. A distance healing spell, love magic, healing charm bag. So, yeah, lots of different spell workings if you want those. 
So that's really funky. What else? What else is in here? We've got our monthly working. Um, it's a calming witch's brew kit. Oh, maybe it's not then. Contains everything you may you need to make your own magical brew. Okay, so I'll have a little look at this. I can never peel off these stickers. They always rip. But I'm going to do my best today. Oh no, it's ripping in lots of places. Oh, Debonella, please secure this in a different way. Look at that. Right, so what have we got in here? It says we've got uh, lemon verbena, chamomile and a tea pouch. Oh, really? <laughs> I've just ordered loads of these off the interwebs because I have a lot of different tea blends and things from like previous books, uh, previous months. And I didn't have anything to put them in. I don't have one of those metal strainer things. So I've literally just ordered a whole bunch of these. So that's quite funny. Like... The synchronicity with Witch Casket and my sort of random items that I buy are quite funny. I do I do end up doing that quite a bit. In fact, I've got a feeling, seeing the um, the theme of this is Herbology, I've got a feeling there could be something in here that I have just basically given a design to Rufus to start making um, uh, for when we eventually rebuild the shop. Um, I wonder if it's going to be. I'll let you know. Um, I'll let you know. Right. What else have we got in here? We've got a, a a a bag. This is a crystal. This is our crystal for the month. Let's have a look at what we've got here then. It says we've got moss agate. OK. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one, actually. Oh, that's really nice. Look at the colours on that. That's really dark. That's cool. Um, and it says, I'm, I'm not going to put it, I was about to put it straight in my crystal bowl. Um, but it says, Moss Agate is a stone of emotional balance and growth. It helps us to uh, process and understand our emotions and aids with uh, a new beginning. Um, a perfect stone for emotional healing, stability and spiritual grounding. So that's really nice. Again, I like our crystals that we get each month. What else is in here? What else is in here? I've got a, there's a little book, Spellcasting Herb Bowl set. Now this is interesting. Look at this. I wonder what this is. This is a, a small, it can only be a, a thin bowl, can't it? Not a thin bowl, a thin, a thin bowl. Oh yeah, look. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's two bowls. Oh, this is very, is there instructions? No, there's not instructions. Um, But these are beautiful. Look, little, I don't know if they're metal or what they are. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, look, so we've got, oh, they are metal. Uh, we've got the moon and some herbs. Oh, it's a good job they are metal, seeing as I'm throwing them all over the floor, isn't it? Right. <laughs> so there we go. Look, there's the design on one. This one's got the, the pentagram or a pentacle on it. And this one's got um, some more moon and some more herbs, look. It's really, they're really nice, actually. I'm going to have to see what they're used for. Hopefully, maybe the little book will tell us how to use those. Because there's nothing... Oh, yeah, hang on. It says here, use this magical trio of bowls to prepare your herbs ready for your spells and rituals. They can also be used as small offering bowls, crystal or curiosity dishes, etc. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would probably use them more as um, little crystal bowls. Because I do have, just on my on my desk in front of me, like I have... I have little bowls with crystals and things in so yeah they they would probably be very useful for me for that but i do like those and the fact they're metal is quite useful right there was another something there what's this we've got the abundance herb blend a magical blend of mint vervain and basil or basil as the americans say use this magical herb blend in spells and rituals to attract abundance uh, used to dress or circle candles to add to charm bags and spell jars or in ritual baths so they're actually giving us like the um rather than just telling us to go and get these particular herbs they're actually giving us the blends sort of pre-made i think that's really cool and i like the recyclable oh it smells lovely I like the recyclable paper bags as well. That's really useful um, because they, they are really good at that. They are really good at making sure that everything is um, sustainable where possible. So that's cool. I'm, I'm liking this box so far. There's lots of like 
lots of useful things um there's a big thing here but i'm gonna have a look at this what's this this feels like oh did, oh, oh i know what this is so this is what the, the little pouch looks like and their pouches are really cool. I've got one of their pouches from last month just sat next to me. Um, this is going to be like a little shovel spoon. I'm sure it is. Yes, it is. Oh, look, that's nice. That's actually really nice. Look, so this is what it is. And you use the little the little shovel spoon for getting into bowls and things. So for me, um, I'm going to show you something. If I want to get my herbs um, out of here, then oh there we go without knocking everything over um then this is a really good way of doing it that's actually something that i is really useful i know i've got spoons from them before and we've got all sorts of bits and pieces and i'm I've, i'm surrounded by paraphernalia but actually that's quite a nice little a little useful one also when you've got crystal chips as well um it's quite nice to get crystal chips out because it's got that deep base to it you can actually get a few crystal chips and then you know that you're using for things so that's a really useful item i really like that <clears throat> and again it's made out of metal it looks like it's brass or like i don't know what the metal would be but it looks like it's it's going to be fairly robust um so that's cool right somewhere we've oh we've got our scroll i was about to say somewhere we've normally got a scroll so again let's just see if i can get this sticker off I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I will. Is that from? Is that the little the little engine that could? Um, it's from something. Right there we go. So that comes off really nicely. And again, even on the sticker, you, you're not going to be able to see it very clearly. But even on the sticker, if I hold it against there, look, you can see there's some herbs on the sticker. So that's really pretty. I'm going to add that onto my my cloth. I know, right? Random. Um, so today's spell or scroll, sorry, is simple herbal potions. Oh, that's cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different herbal um, elements. And uh, it says, oh, in all cases, use a teaspoon of each herb or plant and add one cup of boiling water. Allow to infuse for five minutes. If you intend to drink, you may wish to strain before consuming Otherwise, your potion is ready to use. Um, be mindful of energies and use your potion within 24 hours, it says. So this is something if you want to make it either as a bath ritual or drank as a herbal brew. Um, I'm not going to turn it around and show you, but I will just. Well, actually, I'll tell you what. There you go. That's what it looks like on the design. Um, but we've got one for, say, for a headache potion, uh, fennel, mint and rosemary. So you add a teaspoon of each and do the gubbins. So that's really cool. I like that. Again, our scrolls we get every month. I normally put them in and I've got an A4 binder specifically for these, like an A4 binder of shadows rather than a book of shadows. Um, right, there's something else here. What's this? The Herbology Oracle. Oh, now I do have a Herbology Oracle deck and book, a whole set thing. I don't think I've ever shown it on the channel. Um, maybe I'll have to do a comparison. Um, I will say last month when we got the empowerment cards in the empowerment ritual, I think it was last month, um, might have been the month before, you know, my brain. Um, I, I use them to do a lot of short videos. So if you want me to do that with these, then again, leave a comment down below in the uh, in the comment section. If you want me to do like a little short video where I just do a poll each day for maybe 10, 10 days or something like that using these cards. But anyway, let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got Anise, which is talking about boundaries. These are really nice quality, actually. These these are a, a good size. Nice, nicely um, presented. Basil for harmony. Bay leaf for success. We've got borage or borage, which is for courage. Borage is courage. Yeah. Um, burdock for self-worth. Chicory, um, which is overcoming obstacles. Uh, there's also, I'm not going to read them all out. Um, let's see if there's any really interesting ones. Oh, we haven't got lavender. That's interesting in itself. Um, marjoram, overcoming grief. That's what that one looks like um anything oh mugwort i grow mugwort it's for spiritual growth yes it is yes it is i grow mugwort in the garden um have done for many years actually uh nettle we grow that as well but not by choice <laughs> for protection very good for protection in fact i'll leave a link for the card up in the corner because i did a quite a substantial 
piss off spell basically if you want to uh, it's for protection but also to get rid of of people that might be toxic to your energy um i'll leave a link to that because it's a really good working and it uses all sorts of things like nettles and spiky plants and anything like that it uses all of that in a what's called a piss bottle um so if you want to know more i'll put the card it's going to be one of the two sides i can never remember um what else have i what else have we got here rosemary for clear thinking yeah that's an and a really nice picture i like the, the fact that the cards are really really well depicted actually um so yeah and the last one is vervain for peace so you could if you didn't want to use these for oracle cards and you wanted to you know create a book where you've just got lots of herbs or a herbology book um you can actually use these and just glue these into the book as your pictures of what they are so you would get i don't know how many is here um but you'd have like quite a substantial sort of yay thick plus the papers little book about your herbs and then you could write down all your your things that you notice and the ways that you use them so that would be really interesting so it says on the back here this enchanting deck offers insight into the areas which need your focus pull a card to offer inspiration as you go about your daily life and discover what needs your attention to promote happiness and well-being i like that um i i also really like the fact that i i i, I kind of want to put them in a book and then write about all, all of the herbs that I use and how I use them. I really want to use them for that. So I'm going to have to do a comparison. If you want me to, to do the shots, put a comment down now. Um, and I will try and do that before I start gluing them into a different book of shadows. Because I really, really like the idea of doing that. Um, so this is a really good box. I like this so far. Right, we've got our pin, um, which is... I, I don't know a diamond with sort of the pentacle um and herbs and things i guess squiggly squiggly lines could be vines um but yeah i like that as well a nice a nice pin we get a pin every month so this little pouch is actually the reason why i re-signed up five months ago um because they did an advert saying that they were doing these elemental talismans and i'm the way my brain works i i invariably forget very very easily what each of the symbols are um and i have to then go and you know find my book of shadows open it up and go oh yeah it's this this and this um but that's really pretty look so this is for spirit i know that because it says on <laughs> but also i'm doing a lot better with remembering these now i am i'm actually using these symbols in in writings and things so it says here the elemental talisman collector series it says uh, this exclusive talisman is one of a series of five designed and created exclusively for our subscribers to represent the five sacred elements yes indeed and um, i'm really glad to have had all of those now um i don't know what i'm going to do with them um i th i think i could use them in rituals if i'm looking to invoke a certain element or if i'm using uh, wanting to work with a certain element then i can have this on my altar but i could also carry it perhaps attach it to my to my necklace or a key ring something like that mojo bag or something like that um and i think that's oh no there is one more item in here um we've got a <laughs> now this is exactly what i have designed um to get my other half rufus to pyrograph pyro pyrograph pyrographize to burn with the pointy thing that's pyrography yeah that um so let's <laughs> wowzer let's see then what this looks like um it looks like it's made of wood hang on it says here oh gosh it's using rope as well take small bunches of herbs and hang them on the hanger spacing them far enough apart so they aren't touching uh put the hanger in a dark core and dry spot where there's good air circulation check on them every couple of days to test for dryness and make sure they're not rotten you now have magical herbs to save and use in your craft okay it's a it's it's a little bit different right this is a lot simpler than what what we were wanting to do um but it is very <laughs> and this is pyrographed as well it looks like all this is laser etched so that's a little bit different um i mean it's very pretty it is very pretty um <laughs> it's so funny it's so funny to me that literally i i've literally just designed a version of this for us to do for the shop for, may, for maybe later in the year or next year um when we're doing more uh, witchy type events and doing some of the the psychic fairs um that is very funny that is very funny i mean i like it 
I like it, but that is very funny. Um, so yes, that's that's our herb dry. <laughs> that's our herb drying hanger. Um, so oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, we've got a thing. There's a thing. I don't know what this is. There's something else in the bottom. What's this? Oh, is it some pegs? Is it some pegs? Okay, that's that's kind of funky. There's some um, little tiny. There's probably four little tiny pegs here that you obviously attach the herbs to like so um so yeah that's really cool i've got to say look if i just move the camera up slightly you can see i've got a herb hanger dryer thing just there so that's sort of um that's interesting um but yes so that's that's quite a good box so once again this box was 29 pounds um in the uk 34 I believe in Europe and 36, I think it is in America. So I actually really like this box this month. I think it's got really good value in it. I like the fact that it's kind of sticking to the theme, but not everything is the same. You know what I mean? It's kind of like there's lots of different elements within Herbology that you could use. Um, there's some items that have surprised me and there's some items like this hanging uh, rack thing that have just amused me because it's something that, you know, as I say, I myself have just designed a version of it. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a really nice box. I like the fact there's no incense. Now, I know for some people, they really enjoy the incense, but obviously with um, my other half's asthma, it's not something I can ever use. So I'm always trying to find homes for the incense every month. So I'm, I'm quite pleased that that's not there. I like the little twists of things. So the tea um set instead of it being something that we've got to that's just in the tea bag like they've done before the fact that we've got the little kit and we've got the tea bag and we can make it ourselves and then use it as a bath wash or a shower wash or to use it as an actual drink i think that's really cool i like that a lot i think that's quite a good sort of update really on the tea bags option um but yeah overall i think there's some items in here i'm going to get a lot of use out of and then things like the Oracle deck, I really want to glue them into my Book of Shadows. I really do. I've got a nice, interesting sort of leather bound book that they would look lovely in. It's the perfect size with some scribbling down, not scribbling, but you know me, some writing down the side with some notes on. And I really want to do that. So if you want to see me use them as the Oracle deck that they're designed to do, um, I can film each of the cards and release them every day on a random day, all of that. I can do that if you want, but you'd have to be quick because literally I, I think I'm going to glue them into my um, into my my book of shadows. Also, I've just realized the camera is starting to lean a lot. So if the camera has been leaning for the last half of this video, I do apologize. Let me just see if I can straighten you up a little bit there you go um <laughs> i've only just realized i don't know when it started leaning but apologies anyway let me know your thoughts about this box down in the comment section have you signed up for it would you sign up for it are you excited about it um and also would you like to see me using some of the kit in my everyday witchcraft um if so again put all your comments thoughts and feelings down in the comment section. If you haven't done already, please hit the subscribe button. That really helps me out on YouTube. And as always, stay you, stay true, stay authentic, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.